Hi, Robert here. Uh, in my last video, I was talking uh, to you about a little quote that was in the back of Nikolai Fetchin's book regarding an artist's pursuit of their own visual product, right? Well, I wanted to do a little, a little demonstration with you this morning and tell you why that's important. And um, what I've done is I've asked uh, Helen Rudy of HelenRudyGlass.com to come in and help demonstrate this. So I'm gonna get Helen in here. We're gonna do a little demonstration for you here and then I'll just follow up. So uh, Helen, if, if I can get you. So what I'm gonna do, hi, this is Helen Rudy. Say hey. Hi. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put my signature right here. And then I'm gonna ask Helen to step in here and put her signature right here. Okay, Helen, now I also want you to come right over here and I want you to copy my signature right here. Hopefully they can see you do that. Now, did you see how slow or a slower pace in which Helen tried to copy my, stu my signature versus the speed in which she created her own signature. And the reason for that is she's, she's intuitive like this. She's done this forever and ever. Thanks, Helen, thank you very much. She's done this forever and it's just an intuitive process. But when she has to start to think how I have created mine or this, this the way that my signature's made, she has to slow down. She has to think about the shape. She has to think about how I generated this as an intuitive, as an intuitive artist. And then how did Robert do that? So my, my point being here is that if you are trying to copy another artist's work or follow their workflow or, or try to reproduce works of another artist, you are having to do the same thing. You're having to stop each time you're creating a, a shape or a stroke. And you're having to think about how that other artist is recreating these, these shapes or these, these things. So what happens is, you lose the intuitiveness in your own work that, that Helen had over here, and you start to think, and you start to doubt, and you start to have uh, 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 problems uh, trying to create that artist's work uh, and, and reproducing it as you. So my point basically being is, is you need to get away from trying to follow the other artist their output, their, the, 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 the thing that they have produced, that long and patient toil, toil which is what uh, Nikolai Fetchin was talking about. And you need to get over here to where you are just being intuitive to yourself. The strokes, the shapes, the colors, the way that you create textures, the way that you, you add or remove paint, and, and uh, all of that needs to be intuitive. So my suggestion is, is move away from following other artists their, their visual uh, products, their visual results of their long and patient toil, toil is what Fetchin was talking about. And then move towards an intuitive process, something that is internal to you and to you only. So this little exercise is something that I show at the beginning of every single one of my workshops. And uh, I start here because I want the students who are in my workshops to think how they need to create their own shapes, how they need to make their own marks. I don't correct people on that in my workshops. I want the, sh the shape creation, the, the, the brush strokes and everything to be intuitive to themselves. So it's a, it's a little trick that I show, but uh, maybe you got something out of it. Once again, I wanna thank Helen Rudy, and please go to HelenRudyGlass.com, say hello to her, look at her work. She does beautiful glass work. Uh, she's in the studio right next to mine, and I thank you for watching.